Today, we're playing the duo Cash Cup, but there's just one catch. Me and my duo are playing as solos the entire tournament. And trust me, things get very chaotic later on. Hopping into the very first game, we are landing on completely opposite sides of the map from each other. So let's see how this goes. Each of our drops ended up being uncontested, and we ended up having pretty decent loot. But eventually, when the first zone pulled, the Junkman ended up getting it, but mine was absolutely max. But on my way there, I heard some fighting and went to see if I could possibly get a free kill. So when I saw an opportunity to get one, I went for it. Just don't let me come rescue you. Ah, first kill on the leaderboard, baby. I can't carry it. Oh, his boyfriend's here. Easily. Oh my gosh, I can max me, bro. After wiping out that duo, we were looking extremely good. Junkman was in one of the best spots he could possibly be in, and even though I had to rotate max distance still, I was on dead side of zone. Everything was going perfect, until I ended up running into a duo. And I should mention now for this challenge that we are able to help each other, but only just a little bit. For example, if one of us gets knocked or needs a revive, we can do that, but afterwards we have to run away from each other, we can't play together. Or if one of us is fighting a different opponent, we can help spray at that opponent, but we can't actually fight box to box together, we have to be super far away from each other at pretty much all times. But now back to the fight. Bro, these guys are actually so bad. Ready? Yeah, I'm just third party. Wow. Okay, that kid's not real. Lieutenant Cold 05. This kid is not real. Crack him. Third. Four kills already is pretty good. So now we're both chilling in our respective bases, but then Junkman spotted this. Kids in the water, I'm paying as well. It's a way to solo. I'm not controlling. I'm about to go fight that kid. He's, he's swimming. He's swimming further out. I have 50. But there's a kid on me. I cracked him. This kid ain't even too bad. 30 white. Wondered. Another free kill to add to the score. But it was at this point we were finally heading into the first end game of the challenge. It was gonna be extremely hard to pull off a win. So let's see if we can do it. Come on, height. I'm drawing low ground. Oh my god. Dead. Dead. I'm high, I'm high, I'm high. I'm on the roof. Nice, Mogul Master hit 16. Crack second night, Mogul. Okay. Mm, Him. And we would just barely miss out on the win and getting a 10 kill second place. But regardless, that's still extremely good for our first game. So heading into game number two, we were hoping to keep up the momentum. Jumping on in, I ended up being uncontested once again. However, Junkman was the complete opposite. He had to do a landing at his drop, so he had to swerve. But he ended up being fine in the end and getting some pretty decent loot. And I also had some good loot myself. But soon, disaster would strike. And as I was hiding out near this island, I figured nobody would come near me because there's no reason to go over here, but then this ended up happening. Oh my god, there's a kid near me. He's a puppy. I don't know, he's got a pretty no one off. Wait, I can get forecast. He saw me. That work. Maybe not. I need a hero. Yeah, I'm dead here. Cool. Definitely not ideal. I don't know why those kids went over there. Eventually, though, Junkman was able to get my reboot card and reboot me, and then we went our separate ways. But little did I know how hectic things were going to get later on. 
Drunk Man eventually ended up getting into a really good spot, but I had to tank a lot of zone in order to get my loot back up. However, once I did get out, I was looking really good. But then I started getting pushed by a duo. Oh my god, there's a duo on me. Duo on me? They have zero ping. Probably Wait, there's a different duo on me. Just let me headshot. Get the on me? Really good spray, you bro. Bro. Wait, Tony, let him play deadly. Bro, this is so bad, bro. Lily sent to a cat for him. Now I was somehow able to get away for a little bit and heal back up, but my mats were looking extremely bad. So I knew I had to go for a play, but then one of the weirdest things I've ever seen ended up happening. No, bro. Wait, I'm going to zone. I'm going to zone. Res me. Res me. Up, 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 up. There's a kid healing right here. Oh my god. I'm 2 HP, I'm 2 HP, I'm 2 HP. Okay. No. Oh my god. That was almost the most insane res I've ever seen in my life. But I definitely shouldn't have died to that team. I made a very bad play. And unfortunately, right after I went down, Junkman would go down as well in 11. Definitely not the game that we wanted. But in game three, things would get a lot better. But things didn't start off that way. We decided to swap drops, and this time I ended up being contested, so I decided to swerve over to this building. But then when I went there, there was already a team there that I wasn't ready for, and I died. So that meant Junkman had to go from all the way from one side of the map to the other to try to get my reboot card. And it was really close. Oh my god. <laughs> book of the century <laughs> eventually though he was able to get it and once again we went our separate ways and we did end up getting pretty stacked and making it all the way towards the end game plus drunk man ended up getting a free kill Dead. so now going into moving zones it's crucial to make sure that this game is not a flop so let's see how we do uh there's no height right now by the way your height the W comms. Hit him. 60 white. Griefing uh, kids. It's griefing everybody. It's griefing everybody. Uh, I'm gonna keep going for height. You leaving it? 40. Oh my god, this white super skin. You need to level up your awareness, bud. You need to level up your awareness, bud. Where did that kid come from? No, bro. Oh my god. Unfortunately, we both went down, only getting a two kill fifth. That game could have been so much better. But in game four, we were about to frag out. Now this time, dropping in off spawn, we did both end up getting uncontested, but quickly I ended up running into some players. So it's two smaller ones? Yeah. Yo, come back here, bitch. Dude, I, I... Uh, 200. Oh, I'm dead, GG's. I'm dead. Get out of my lobby. I don't know what those guys were doing. They were pretty bad. But after that, things were pretty smooth sailing from there. And during the mid game, we ended up getting a few more kills. Oh my god. Yeah, now I do. <laughs> They're chasing me. <laughs> We're just a bit though. I don't think, yeah, Don't worry about it. Wait, one HP on me. I want me to do about that. Oh my god. My god, there's a kid she here. missed that for one shot. Why is there a kid here? They're full keying me. Oh yeah. Play box to box, I can snipe one. 110. 110. I'm not gonna go down What idiots? What are we doing, guys? <laughs> what was that play? <laughs> 
After getting those eliminations, we once again made our way into Endgame, where we're now finally at the moving zones. And we really need a good game here in order to stay on top of the leaderboard. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, good, yeah, good comments. Oh my god! I just headshot made that kid. Video. Oh my lord. Wow, the, there was a duo in there the whole time? Wait. What a goat. Got time. Dead body underneath you there. I have to ask that A little bit. Oh. <laughs> And unfortunately, we would get a ninth. However, we still had eight kills that game, so not too shabby. But our follow away one was pretty bad. Early off spawn, I ended up getting ran up by a duo and going down. And pretty soon, Junkman would also fall, but he was able to get two kills with him. So with the streak of not the best games, going into the sixth one, we really needed to make sure this was good. But right away, I would end up finding myself in some trouble. Where? Oh my god, I'm in between a duo and they have no idea. It's actually over for me. There's actually no there's way this kid had no idea. There's another duo? What? There's no way that kid had no idea. Yeah, I have no idea how that guy didn't see me. But after I killed him, his teammate ran away, so I decided to camp the reboot. But then, this ended up happening. Oh, I just have to the budget. Stuck on a tree, bro! Oh, well, yeah, I got stuck on a tree. Now, eventually, once again, a junk man was able to reboot me, and I really gotta stop dying like this. But things weren't all bad. I was able to get my loot back up, and me and junk man were looking very stacked. And I was also able to get another free kill during the mid game. Wait, I just hit 150. 45 white. So now things are looking really good, but that wouldn't be for long. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Wait. I, I, can't, I can't reset. My like, dolphin. You don't have to protect me. Uh, well, yeah, I'm getting. Wait, I'm getting carried away. Alright, yeah. I got that. All right, so yeah, we ended up bumping into each other there and Junkman went down, but somehow I was able to revive him and we were pretty much chilling. So once again, we're heading into the end game. I think it's playing back though. Side. Oh. Dead. I just said the god rotates. Just kid in front of you. Crack, crack mobile skin. I just said the god rotates. I didn't get you. One build. Yeah. Oh, he sees me. Bro. God, man, it's doing so on you. HP, 10 bugs. Oh, a three kill third is pretty good. But at this point in the tournament, we have four games left, but only time to play out two of them. So it was here where we were thinking about possibly trying to key. But in game number seven, we would both end up dying off spawn again, so we decided against it. And for our second to last game, we knew other players were gonna be keying, so we decided to just try and play safe and go for placement. But this is what ended up happening. And there's a duo that has the perfect drop. Bro, I'm so dead. Yeah, bro. Um, a lot easier said than done. So, uh, yeah, so the best drop and they're stupid. Yeah, I'm getting shot out already. You know my life, bro. Bro, like I'm of course it. he has a grapple. <laughs> now once again, I would go down. There was literally nowhere I could land there. There was somebody everywhere. Now eventually, Junkman did get my card. However, things were gonna get a little bit weird. Their vision is based on movement aces. <laughs> This, is this kid? No, no, he's trolling. Bro, take out the med kit or something and like put it in the fucking wall. Shove it in there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <think it's> <laughs> <laughs> Did I keep playing? <laughs> if someone sees me, they're gonna be so confused. <laughs> 
What is this kid doing? <laughs> is this the same kid? I don't think it is. Yes. Don't oh, you move, bro. Hands. Oh. Yo, what are these guys doing? Yeah. They're actually <laughs> just trolling. <laughs> but you're about to get like kicked for being AFK. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no idea what those guys were doing, but eventually they left and I was able to get rebooted. But to make a long story short, we ended up getting one kill, then going down in 13th place. Now, considering we are doing this challenge, our points aren't looking too bad, but our goal going to the very last game was to try and break that top 1,000 on the leaderboard. And to do that, we were gonna need around 350 points. So per usual, we needed a really good game here. But just like last game, all spawn, things were not looking good. I haven't been able to actually land here in like four games and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen this one either there's actually three teams landing there oh what there's just a kid landing there as well i'm actually dead again i'm not even trolling i don't have anything they actually just spawn in out of nowhere bro i like i'm actually not even trolling when i say this there is nowhere i can loot right now every single little tiny hut is taken by a player i don't know where i'm going right now well i got max brick literally nothing else bro i'm walking and i'm getting sniped out are you kidding me this is actually so bad <laughs> There's kids EMPing over there. Oh my. Bro, there's literally kids all around me. Yes. There's a kid over there as well. There's there's genuinely nowhere I can go right now. There's genuinely nowhere I could go. I don't need, like, there's not even a bush for me to sit in over here. Oh my god, oh my there's god. kids coming Wait. to me. Yeah, those kids are going over there. I have my eyes on a chest. I've never been Dude, so you happy to see a chest. I literally yeah, only have brick. <laughs> Somehow I live there. I have never seen that many people in such a small area in my life. And soon after, I realized that the train was coming to me, so I was able to get loot from there, and I was looking really good. But then, uh, this happened. I'm dead, GG's. I'm actually dead, GG's. Through the wall! So yeah, I went down, and then when Junkman went to get my reboot card, that team was camping it, and shortly after, he died. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda sold this dirty. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get the 350 points like I wanted. But if you guys did end up enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe. We're on our road to 100k by the end of this year. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your days. Peace out.